We are getting a look at dramatic video of the flooding in Contra Costa County that forced about a dozen people out of their beds and into boats this weekend. Harbor Street in Pittsburgh, it was covered by four feet of rushing, overflowing water, the Kirker Creek. And we've just learned the road will be closed in both directions through at least Wednesday. Now, our Sean Chitness went back to check on the neighborhood today where they are facing a third night out of their homes. Rushing water setting the scene for what could be a river rescue. Instead, people evacuating from homes over the weekend in this Pittsburgh neighborhood on Harbor Street. Bernadine Cleaver was one of those residents. She and others were brought by boat to a safer spot until the water recedes. My house was flooded, so that was bad. But the ride up here was good. Earlier this month, she was already concerned about all the rain in such a short period of time. First, I was kind of like worried about it because I don't swim, you know, but now I'm just in my house relaxing, trying to get it off my mind. Other residents up at that hour were in disbelief that day that so much water could be near their houses. It's crazy. Uh, I've never seen it before like this. Police say a blocked culvert created a sinkhole. The water pooled around Harbor Street and Ventura Drive, standing at four feet. Two days after people had to leave their house, there is still plenty of water in the streets, blocking multiple homes at this intersection. Amazed that there was still this much water here. Liz Brown has lived in this part of town for almost 50 years. She came by to see how much water was still there Monday afternoon. She says this is the first time flooding has come so close to her home. Not at all, no. Never. I was born here in Pittsburgh and no, I have never ever seen it. In some cases, the water just missed a house but came to the front lawn. Others say their cars were stuck after the street flooded. Brown sent a video to the people who used to live on the corner and just missed the storm. She's going to be overwhelmed to see something like this. While her house is fine, Brown worries about those who just moved in. So I'm sure they're probably somewhat overwhelmed to have something like this happen. She knows we need more rain, but she says she's praying we don't get another storm like this anytime soon. I appreciate and I thank everybody that's out here. And for those who had to leave their homes over the weekend, they remain grateful for the help they got when the water came to their front door.